You know, I was just sitting here thinking about the early days, early days of hammocks, and how much more simple it was for a guy like me who got into them long ago. But for some of you new people who are just getting into it, I know it's mighty confusing. There's so many choices of fabrics. I mean, you got your rip stops, you got your Hex 70s, you got MTNs, you got Monolites, Dream Techs, you got Hyper D, you got Airway, Parachute Material, blotty, 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 blah. Each fabric is going to have a different feel, a different stretch. There's different grades of it. There's Ripstop 1.1, Ripstop 1.6, Ripstop 1.9. Um, they all have different gives. They all have different grid patterns, a diamond grid. Uh, yeah, hey, Shug. Uh, I'm one of them new hammockers or hammockers or whatever you call yourselves, and I'm, I'm totally perplexed. I'm totally confused about this world of hammocking. I don't know what to do, and I was hoping you could help me out on it. Because I'm about to break down in tears with all these decisions. Can you? Can you, Shug? So if we're talking about getting a double layer hammock, or a single layer. Now, 98% of my hammocks are single layers. Why? Because I'm a backpacker, and I don't want to carry that extra layer of fabric. Because sometimes I already got a bug net, I got my tarp. You know, if you're a backpacker, weight comes into it. And I think I've talked about that in videos, but I just usually go with a single layer and I tend to use something like a 1.6 or 1.9 fabric that supports my weight. I've decided I like a little bit more of a firm, firmer feel, but not as firm as what a double layer hammock will give me. Because the thing is, a hammock unlike a tent, you're, you're kind of wearing your hammock you're laying up in it so it's a very personal thing as to what kind of feel you want with that hammock i like a little support in the beginning i used a lot of really stretchy fabrics like a 1.1 and in time i realized it, it gave too much i it stretched down and it kind of came around me they're coming so far with fabrics now it's amazing that you can get a single layer hammock that will support 400 pounds supposedly all right, but I get asked a lot, you know, I'll get an email from a guy going, Shug, I'm a big guy, I'm, a, I'm six foot eight, and I weigh about 390 pounds. What hammock will support me? So if you go to any of the sites like, uh, you know, you go to War Bonnet, or you go to Dutchware, or you go to Hammock Gear, or you go to Jacks or Better, or, you know, any, any of these cottage hammock vendors, you're going to look... Uh, when you buy your hammock if you want a single or double layer and you can look at the weight specifications a lot of getting a double layer hammock is the feel the support and the weight that it'll hold before i go any further this is a special announcement february 18th at 7 p.m eastern standard time east coast i'm doing a live hammock stream with canoe hound adventures i have never done a live youtube stream so that's February 18th, 2020, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Canoe Hound Adventures. It's been said, maybe see you there, maybe not. So I'm going to put all the information and the links in the description box below this video. Now also a double layer gives you that confidence out there. It gives you that confidence that if, if one layer tears, you have a second layer to support you. So if you're new at hammocks, or even if you're experienced, Make sure you don't have anything in your back pocket, a pencil, a knife, anything sharp when you lay in it might just tear that hammock. So a double layer is just going to give you that added bit of protection out there and some durability and resilience. Really the most obvious thing about getting a single layer hammock over a double layer hammock is the price. It's just going to cost a little less if you have one pair of fabric other than two layers of fabric. Eh, hey, bueno. So another reason for the double layer is people like to use that to slide their camping pad in between. Uh, I have a video on putting a pad between double layer hammocks. A lot of people think it's nicer to have it between the double layer. I always just laid on it right in the hammock in my single layer. That's up to you to figure out. But that's another reason for a double layer. People like putting their pads in there. Seems to hold it in place a little better. I get these guys that go, man, I only camp when it's hot. I live in Texas and go in the summer. It's hot. I don't need a pad or an underquilt. Um, 
but they will often use the double layers because they uh, they're convinced and I think it's true that the bugs can't bite them through it well the single layer hammock sure if a mosquito flies under there he can get through a little easier just think about wearing shirts if you got one t-shirt on or one long sleeve shirt bang they can go through the more shirts you add the more that mosquito is gonna go this dude's uh, blood is a lot of work I'm not sure I want it that bad and the other nice thing is it provides just a little bit more warmth if you're not using a pad or an under quilt. Now if you get a double layer hammock or if you're gonna make your own hammock, uh, most people sew those layers together. And they usually sew it like if, 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 if my hand is your hammock and this is where your head is and this is where your feet in, they sew it kind of along the sides a little bit because that's, that's where the hammock takes the stress. You're sitting sideways and the weight is there. And maybe those ends, you leave a gap about this big or so on the end. So maybe you sew an area about that wide because you want to keep those two layers together otherwise it gets a little weird one's balled up on top of the other and yet you've got this gap at the ends that you can slide your pad in and reach in and adjust it how you want the other question that people ask a lot and most hammock manufacturers will tell you this but if you're making your own if you're doing a double layer hammock and you're thinking I want something like a 1.1 soft fabric on the inside and something stronger on the outside the basic rule is you put your stronger fabric on the outside and your lighter fabric on the inside that's just a rule of thumb um, it makes sense because that outside is going to be your more rugged layer in case you get an abrasion or something like that. I hope these thoughts will maybe clear your mind and give you a direction uh, if you're going to go for a double layer or a single layer hammock. All secure in Sector 7. Woo, buddy!